welcome friends have you ever wondered what you can make with two rows well today i'll be showing you what i made with just two rants of a pattern that i made up which i'm glad to share with you today so this is what i made just with two rants and with a technique that i'm going to show you today or oh, you can use this to make a um, toy hanger you can make any practically anything with it with this technique and you can even use adapt the technique to make hair band uh air band air warmer air warmers and so on this technique will show you how to crochet around elastic band so for this tutorial i've gathered the elastic bands that i have at home air yeah, elastic air bands so you can use whatever elastic air bands is available to you where you are locally you really don't need to buy anything for this tutorial so as i said we'll I'll be using um, a size 3 weight yarn i'm using kobo you can use whatever hook is available to you I think for this tutorial I use size four millimeters. Yeah, I'm focusing it, and then you will need a scissors. So let's begin. So this is how it looks when expanded. When you extend it, this is what it looks like. Good. So uh, I have my elastic. I'll be using this. Uh, silver color elastic air band this is about three inches wide and i'm using size three with three cobo yarn so you pick your elastic band make a knot to secure the yarn that you'll be using so i've made i tied it uh then start this you can see how uh, i passed my hook through the band pick yarn around my hook and bring out a loop then i'll make a chain so that's to secure the yarn and then it will make your product last and you won't really need to worry about it unraveling so i'll chain one the foundation round i said this today is just two rounds the foundation rounds can be made in single crochet and you can also use half double crochet for this tutorial i'm using the u.s stamps so i'll be using half double crochet which is yarn round your hook insert into um, the elastic band pick up a loop we have three loops on our hook yarn round hook and pull through so that's half double crochet and we'll repeat that throughout this round so round one chain one and half double crochet I'll, i intend making 46 42 half double crochet around my elastic hairband so depending on the diameter of the elastic hairband you're using make sure you have in multiples of three you can make lower number of half double crochet than what i'll make or you can make more depending on how wide your elastic band is you will notice that i'm crocheting over the hand this makes it uh, secure so just working half double crochet around my elastic hair band So I'll continue to I have 42 half double crochet around this uh, elastic band and I'll back to show you. 
Okay, so I'm at the end of the round and I have 48 uh, half double crochets. So I'm going to join with a slip stitch to my beginning chain. Good. So that's the end of round one. We'll move to round two, which is the final round. We're using just two rounds for this tutorial. So to make uh, round two, you need to skip the next uh, two stitches, work in six double crochets into this next stitch, skip next two stitches, single crochet into the next stitch, and that's what we'll be repeating. So skip the first two stitches, uh, six double crochets into the next stitch, Six double crochet, skip the next two stitches, single crochet into the next stitch, skip the next two stitches, and walk in six double crochet into the next stitch. So, this is what we'll repeat throughout this round. Skip the next two stitches, work in, uh, skip the next, a uh, single crochet into the next stitch, skip the next two stitches and work in six double crochet into the next stitch. So if you're still watching and you want um, to have the written pattern of this uh, easy tutorial, I've added a link to the description below. You can have a download and use uh, the code written in the description box. Skip the next two, single crochet into the next stitch. This is practically what we would have to repeat throughout this round. I want to know what will you do with this? Do you pack your hair? in messy bone tell me in the comment section are you making this for grandkids your kids or yourself you can also sell this you are welcome to sell anything you make from my tutorials it makes me happy when you make money from my tutorial you can sell this at craft fairs this doesn't consume time and in matter of less than 30 minutes you've made at least one of these. Let me know if you have any suggestion of what else you want me to make tutorials on and I'll be glad to do so. So this is what you repeat till the end of the round. Skip two stitches, work in six double crochets into the next stitch, skip next two stitches, single crochet into the next stitch, skip two stitches and you repeat the sequence. Yeah, we're almost at the end of the round now. So the, the chain one we made at the beginning of the round is standing in as a single crochet. So we we'll skip the last two stitches and we we'll join with a slip stitch to the beginning chain. Bravo! That is what it looks like after the end of the second round. So now we we'll go ahead and fasten off and weave in our hands. So I weave in my end, and that's the end of the tutorial. When you make something out of this, kindly tag me. I'd like to see the beautiful colors you've used, 
and how yours looks. Thank you. Bye.